if you travel around Israel, um, what you'll notice is there isn't a lot of free land. It's either being used for agriculture or you have these cities and they are building straight up. So let's talk about that a little bit, just in terms of the, the, the market and commercial construction. So we see cranes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like there wasn't one place where I didn't see mass amount of cranes. Whoever has got a crane business in the country. <laughs> <doing that. laughs> Who, who's building here? Where, where, where's that money? Where are those resources coming from? Because as far as the eye can see in any direction, and I'll, I'll share pictures in all these different places we're talking about, and you'll see not one crane, you'll see a multitude of cranes in every direction, and they're all building up, but who's paying for this? Well, let's There's not forget, money. money was pretty cheap until, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a little while back. Yeah, uh, it was years. cheap, and um, it was available, and um, part of the planning, and everything here works according to the planning, and everyone planning ahead. And so those plans that were set a few years ago are, are now playing out. And so if they have money, don't have money, that money was allocated a few years ago. Does that make sense? Right, yeah, that was inertia that makes kind of story. Exactly, right. and so now you actually see those, the, that, that planning playing out. And, um, and yeah, they're building up. And I mean, a few years ago, the amount of high rise buildings was, you know, it was, you can imagine you have them now. I mean, everywhere you look, it's, it's part of our life. I'm on the 40th floor myself. Um, I always believe in going up when it comes to business. And so um, definitely, I'd say there's more room to build. The only thing is there's a regulation here, the planning committee and so on. Things take time in Israel. And so if anyone is interested in actually investing, I would highly recommend them going and trying to do their due, 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 due diligence because you can actually acquire land in Israel that has not yet been approved for building. It's only approved, it's semi-approved for building. That's a process. It can take many years sometimes. And so you can buy a piece of land and you can buy I don't know, a certain amount of, of, of a certain size uh, of agricultural land that is going to be intended for construction. Sort of me, it's sort of like Wayne Gretzky said, you, know, you skate to where the pot's going to be, not where it is. 